So, well, this is the situation. Sink in the kitchen is clogged. It's about uh, yeah, past midnight. So, too late to use the vacuum cleaner for it. But also, I've got a problem because I need to, uh, to turn on the dishwasher. So, and because it's using the same sewer system, like pipe at least, I need to fix it. Or, well. Going to have a problem, but anyways, long story short, how can I do it um, silent? I actually was at that situation once before, and I actually I just improvised something, and actually it worked, worked pretty well. So this is my second attempt on this. Only going to use some duct tape, some well, seeing like a plastic uh, sink from a yogurt container. Again, whatever. I'm going to show you what it to do. So it's first. Oh yeah, and oh yeah, and some oh a bit of paper, <coughs> a little bit of paper towels. So first, I'm going to do this here. Don't have to make it wet again, but there was something. So first, so as first, it rises off to be as dry as possible. It's nice and dry. Time for the duct tape. Also, what is this? What is this piece of cable here? Like, what? <laughs> okay. Oh, whatever. <laughs> okay. No. Let's take the single plastic container. So basically. Flexible, so take it, put it on the surface here. Try to make a vacuum. Just pump it. Needs a few times. It's a little bit. Ah, I guess I, I guess no, I have it. Yes, seems like it's open. Or I just saw something sign in there. Like I, I guess I'm close because I just saw something swimming into it, like some particles. So I guess it's closing up. Uh, it's opening up. I mean, <laughs> not closing. It's closed up, and I am open. Come on. It keeps that vacuum. Oh. Oh, and it's it's open. And it's open, see? Yep. Didn't took me too long, maybe like five minutes. Mm. So yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, also, to see it's properly working, you gotta remove the tape first. And yeah, so, the trick is that this, when you're doing it, need like what? Uh, needs to be from flexible plastic, like a little bit surface here. Okay. Flexible through, like when you hold like that. And also, it seems like one mistake I made, like, because uh, the other time it was like, I don't know, like three months or so ago, I've done it. So basically, the important thing is when you do it like, say, like, hold like that, then it has to be centered, on centered about that, in this place. Hold it down, use your hands, yeah. The tree just <laughs> Anyways, use your hands, palm, and then just yeah. Basically, uh, go like that, and when the pressure is like the highest, then and, and you you can feel feel the suction too. When the suction is really high, you just pull it off and, and not really too slightly just go to like let it suck a bit and then rip it off and then then when you're lucky like it's the first time like you saw it my in my case it just sucks it all off yep what well, just wanted to share that with you you guys because I sometimes you don't have anything and you don't want to go with some, let's say, some harsh material on a PVC pipe like that. Well, I don't want to have a hole in it, and I or ruin the gasket, uh, or or like me, I don't have <laughs> laying some of that stuff around us all right now, which is PVC friendly, and it's late at night and. Blah. Well, that's how you do it, so anyways, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and see you all next time on random fixes and restorations. Uh, do something else. Yep. <laughs> With a DIY or going back cover style on a clocked sink or some stuff. <laughs>